Hello, I'm Dinis Demir. It's um, self colonized. We've internalized a lot of of, of racism, um, of Afrophobic uh, dispositions, and we need to liberate ourselves. And so this radio station and the program that you are engaged in and, and, and the work that uh, my, my host, Prince Dynast Amir is doing is all about that step, those movements towards self-empowerment and liberation that we seek. So my question now is for a people who are in the midst of colonization, some people in, in urban areas talk about gentrification. Yes. But when they break it down, the tools of gentrification are identical to the tools of colonization. Yeah. How do we then start to struggle in our own time to break the holds of colonization that, of course, outsiders have on us, but also the ones that you talked about that we have on ourselves? Yeah. How do we begin to take those steps? You know, I think there's a series of exercises that we all need to indulge in that um, will reaffirm who we are, that we, we look in the mirror every day and say, oh, girl, you looking fly. Or oh, boy, you know, you, you the man. And, and, and you have to believe that. You have to see yourself reflected in this space of, of power, of goodness, of, of abundance in the world. You have to feel good about you first and foremost. Because once I'm able to love myself fully, I don't have any problem loving you. None whatsoever. And love really is a critical tool for change um, because it's, it's, it's that openness to love, the, the kind of surrender that we have to have to it that allows us to build trust. And it is starting with trust, using trust as, as a tool to, to come together, um, to, um, to have a shared vision that's going to allow us to realize some of the things that we need to. I lived in a community that got uh, gentrified um, in Harlem. It was so bad I had to leave when I saw a young woman of European descent jogging down my block, a residential neighborhood in her, in her bikini with her headphones on. I said, I think it's time for me to leave because um, this is not why I left IET to, to, to come here to the US and, and take my child and my family to live in a neighborhood that reflected the values of, of people of African descent. Um, to, 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 to see somebody completely indifferent to that in my neighborhood. Um, and I see this tremendous change going on here in Atlanta. It's been happening for a while, but it, it seems as if things have gone up yes. to another level. Uh, you know, in the Caribbean and in Africa, there's a notion of a susu where people take their resources, they take their monies and they put them together and they grow them. Um, we need to be able to do the same thing, but we can't take that, that precious resource. And I put that in quotations, that is money. Those commodities, we can't put them together if we don't trust each other. We essentially need to create, um, you know, the principle of a combit, um, where, where funds of a community are pulled together and used to build specific projects. Uh, we need to be able to do that so that we can buy, we can buy the land, we can buy the houses, we can buy the properties that, uh, that, that we desire in our own neighborhoods. We can secure them and we can build. That's the only way to stop this process of gentrification. Thank you for that, because you know, I, I see some of our people holding firm to that. And I think the West End of Atlanta is a good example of the uh, attempt by our people to at least hold on to some portion of historical mm -hmm. land and territory and history and community. Yeah. Um, and so 
that's a shout out to everybody who listens to our program from the West End on the West side of Atlanta. Continue to do what you do and continue to be conscious of who you are and where you are. Now, your story, to me at least, is a big piece of the modern day combat of colonization. Because when people speak about colonization, inevitably they go back to the past. But a lot of the things that we talk about, at least in my experience, are things that we're no longer barred from. We talk about the way that we lost our languages, for example. You can learn plenty of languages these days. Mm -hmm. and, and some of them are free as far as like apps and things like that, yes. that you can communicate with people across the globe and in real time and then learn by a dictionary and go to classes and things like that. And so we have access to a lot of things that we did, our ancestors did not have access to. Mm -hmm including the continent of Africa. You mentioned coming from Haiti mm -hmm. into Harlem. Mm -hmm. And now...